In this video, let's take a look at some of the options you have when you're sweeping a surface. In this part here, we have three lines. We have a straight line that's on our top plane, we have a straight line that's on our front plane, and then we have an arc that's on our front plane. So let's take a look at sweeping a surface and what kind of options we can use when sweeping this. Let's say we wanted to sweep sketch one along sketch two. Now you can see this is basically creating a plane or a square patch. If we go to our options, you can see that we have options to orient or twist it. So right now we're following the path. We can also keep normal constant, which in this case is gonna produce the same results. The one I wanna point out here is twist along path. Now this is a great tool if you wanna make things like screws or types of helixes and so on. So this is going to create a path in 3D. Let's go ahead and okay that and take a look at what we've created. So you can see now we have a path that's twisting along this vertical line. And that allows us to do things like create a profile such as a plane down here. And we can create a profile that we can sweep along that path and maybe create a spring or something along those lines. But we can also go back, modify this. And we can use this arc as our path. So you can see we're still sweeping along that path. We can twist multiple times. We can go back and create some really intricate and difficult to create geometry otherwise by using these surfaces and using them for paths for other geometry. So let's take a look at some of the other options. So if we go back into our sketch, our orientation twist types, we have twist along path will keep normal constant. So in the case of our arced path that's going across, we're able to keep the normal of our profile constant. So you can see even though it's twisting along the path, it ends up at the top of this being parallel with the original profile. So that's important if you need to create this type of geometry that's twisting along here, but the normal has to be constant. Some of the other options deal with guide curves. So let's go over to another part. So let's take a look at sweeping this along a guide curve. So our path is gonna be this center sketch here, and we're gonna just grab one of these edges as a guide curve. Now you'll notice the instant we select our guide curve, we're changing the entire surface here. But if we go to our options, we have an option to keep normal constant, which again, is gonna change that end, and it's gonna keep it normal with our profile. And we can also go along our guide curve. So you'll notice that as soon as we change from follow path to follow path and first guide curve, we're actually snapping back to that original path and our guide curve. So that drastically changes the types of surfaces that we're creating. We also have follow first and second guide curves. Now in this case, our geometry isn't conducive to the guide curves that are created. But if you have a part that you're creating that has these types of guide curves, then you have the option to follow both of those guide curves. And in that case, you're no longer gonna follow the path, you're gonna follow both guide curves, and then this is gonna be kind of a gentle guide to how the surface is gonna be formed in 3D. So these are a lot of great options that you can use to help tweak and massage the surface to how you need it. And notice that when we select different options, we get different selection boxes at the bottom. So if we keep follow path, we have minimum twist, and we have none as our path alignment type. But when we go to something like keep normal constant, the only thing we have is merge tangent faces. If we go down to follow path and first guide curve, again, we only have merge tangent faces. Same thing when we go to things like twist along path, which doesn't allow you to use a guide curve. But in this case, we can twist along this path as well if we want to. Even though it's a complicated spline that is arcing, we still have the option to twist along that. So it's very important to understand these types of options because they're gonna dictate how you create the sketches for both your profile, your path, and your guide curves.